if humans were eliminated, which species would dominate the Earth? July 15, 2019 One day we humans will not be here, and if we do not change our ways, it will happen sooner than we think. Who will dominate the planet then? If humans were eliminated, which species would dominate the Earth? Credit, blogspot.com In a post-apocalyptic future, what could happen to life if humans left the scene? After all, it is very likely that humans will disappear long before the sun expands into a red giant star and exterminates all living beings on Earth. Assuming that we will not extinguish all other lives as we disappear an unlikely feat, despite our unique propensity to drive extinction, history tells us to expect some rather fundamental changes when humans are no longer the dominant animal species of the planet. So if we had the chance to take a look at the time on Earth, about 50 million years after our disappearance, what would we find? Which animal or group of animals would take over as the dominant species? Would we have a planet of the apes, as imagined in popular fiction? Or would the Earth be dominated by dolphins, rats, water bears, cockroaches, pigs or ants? The issue inspired much popular speculation and many writers offered lists of candidate species. Before offering any supposition, we need to explain carefully what we mean by a dominant species. Let's stick to the animal kingdom. One could argue that the current era is an era of flowering plants, but most people cannot imagine this. So let's keep arguing with the animals. This is for practical and non-philosophical reasons. By some standards, the world is now and always been dominated by bacteria, despite the nominal end of the microbial age about 1.2 billion years ago. This did not happen because the bacteria ceased to be or decreased in prevalence, but because in our myopia we tended to give more importance to the great multicellular organisms that came later. According to some reports, four out of five animals are nematodes or roundworm, so from all these examples, it is clear that neither prevalence, abundance nor diversity are the main requirements for being a dominant. Instead, our imagination is captured by large charismatic organisms. The meek shall inherit the earth. There is an undeniable degree of narcissism in the human designation of dominant species and a strong tendency to attribute the title to close relatives. The planet of the apes imagines that our closest primate relatives could develop speech and adopt our technology if we give them time and space to do so. But it is unlikely that non-human primate societies inherit our dominion from earth because apes will probably precede extinction. We are already the only living hominid that conservation status is not threatened or critically endangered, and the kind of global crisis that would extinguish our species probably will not spare the fragile remnant populations of the other great apes. In fact, any extinction event that affects humans is likely to be more dangerous for organisms that share our basic physiological requirements. Even though humans succumb to a global pandemic that affects relatively few other mammals, Great apes are precisely the species most at risk of contracting new diseases that will drive us out of the earth. Will another, more distant relative primate, mammal, or otherwise develop intelligence in a human-like society? This also seems unlikely. Of all the species that were undoubtedly dominant animals at some stage in Earth's history, humans are alone in their remarkable intelligence and manual dexterity. It follows that such traits are not required to be dominant among animals nor are traits particularly likely to evolve. Evolution does not favor intelligence by itself, but only if it leads to greater survival and reproductive success. Consequently, it is a deep error to imagine that our successors are likely to be especially intelligent or social creatures, or who are capable of speaking or adept at human technology. So what can we safely speculate about the dominant species? about 50 million years after mankind. The answer is both unsatisfactory and exciting at once, although we can be reasonably confident that it will not be a talking chimpanzee, otherwise we have no idea what it will be like. The world has seen several events of mass extinction throughout its history. The diversification of life after each event was relatively rapid, and the adaptive radiation of new species produced new forms including many unlike the ancestral lineages that spawned them after surviving the previous extinction. The small, shrimp-like creatures that ran under dinosaur feet at the end of the Cretaceous look very different from bears, mastodons, and whales that descended from them during the age of mammals. If humans were eliminated, which species would dominate the earth? One shrew. Similarly, reptiles surviving the extinction of the Permian some 250 million years ago, which killed 90% of marine species and 70% of terrestrial species, 
did not clearly foreshadow pterosaurs and dinosaurs and mammals and birds that descended from them. In the book Wonderful Life, The Burgess Shale and the Nature of History, the late Stephen Jay Gould argued that chance, or contingency, as he called it, played a large role during the major transitions of animal life. There is room to argue about the relative importance of contingency in the history of life, which remains a controversial subject today. However, Gould's perception that we can hardly predict the success of modern lineages beyond future extinction is a humbling reminder of the complexity of evolutionary transitions. If humans were eliminated, which species would dominate the Earth? To the meek shall inherit the Earth. Well, maybe not. Thus, although it is possible that, as many have speculated, ants take over the Earth, we can only imagine what their descendants of dominant ants will be like.